Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to add a test case test suite in SOAP UI and how to execute it. I already have a couple of test cases, test suites in here, test suite 1 with couple of test cases, test case 1 and test case 2 and test suite 2 and which is having only one test case. We will be using our same API, REST countries API. So let me see which API to add. We'll go ahead with the REST countries with uh, get countries by the currency and this is the API. I will try to hit it and should get it. Okay, before that, let's go to the currency and let's see some of the currency codes from here. Currencies and let's go to the currency. Let's see, let's which kind of currency we can use use in our test case. So let's see. Uh, Nepal, NPR. Okay, we'll use this uh, NPR Nepalese rupee because that will give only one country, I think. So we'll go ahead and add this request in our test case. Add to test case option is here. If once you click on the request, there will be an option add to test case, and we will right click add to test case and we will be adding it to the test suite 2 demo create new test case if i want to add it into the same test case test case 1 i can do it but also i can add a new test suite and all but i'll just go ahead and add it in the test suite 2 demo create a new test case and i'll do an ok test case 2 sorry get currency test and ok and the method name is get currency request one ok so i so right now i am here in this test case and i am querying this api not the one which is here actually so i get it but the problem here is i this i cannot edit it here i have to come back here and edit it so which is not what i want so what i need to do is i need to add a parameter as currency and i will make it as template and i'll just put something in here for now pop so Should show up here. Okay, and I hit it. Okay, so let me try with the APA NPR. NPR and it got me correctly. Okay, so let's. I have done it in our main API in the project and it should get reflected in here. So if you see here, I close all these windows, there are too many open in here. And I come to our test case, I come to our test case inside test suite 2 demo and open this and I see the same thing in here. So if I provide something in here like INR, I should get for the country India. Bhutan, India, and Zimbabwe. So this I have added our API here. I need to pass in something from the properties. So let's try to add a test step called properties. Just name it as properties and put your event here by country one. Or just name it as Nepal and currency currency one is npr and we have our properties already created i'll move this one step ahead of our api and coming back to our value in here i want to read it from the properties which is 
currency one and it should take this value npr from here so for that i need to put a code in here like this sorry hash curly braces properties the name here properties and i need to put another hash and i need to put currency one which is actually the value in here currency one and it should get resolved to npr and i close this curly braces and let us try to so i hit it now and i should get the name of the country with this currency as one let's go ahead and add few assertions for our test and add let's add a json path match assertion i will match that the country name comes as nepal in here json path match so i'll add it so if you remember we json object the root object in json is dollar and since it's an array if you see here is the braces in here box and star let's see what i get in here i sh i get the whole uh, uh, json string which i don't want i just get the name and i get nepal so and there is only one object inside this json so can do a zero and I get a Nepal in here so now I don't want to read from here I want to read from the properties for example my property name of uh, name is country one and and it's it's the same Nepal here I should get this because this is what I provided in our input so I come back to the assertions and I do the same in here dollar sorry curly braces these hash country one and test and it matches because it's getting Nepal and I, what I provided in properties is also Nepal so I save it and this green that means it's it's okay so our test case is okay now I'll save this and uh, I will try to run this test case here and it is pass okay so far so good so let us try to add another assertion in here JSON path count JSON path count assertion and we do a same thing here dollar star and see how many we get one because there is only one country in here so we get one and we save it and this is also great here so that's how you can add a test case in SOBY way you can run the test case which I have shown you you can come here and click this green button runs this test case and you should be able to uh, run the test case if you are uh, if you want to run that whole test suite you click on the test suite uh, test suite in here and you get this green one and both of this will be running so for example if there is a failure for let's fail this test case with something just on path count i'll just put this as two in here so that it fails and let's see how, how it behaves in here and so you can see here the first one got passed and the second one got failed so i'll come back here and change this select from the current one and save it now i've shown you how to execute from test case test suite and if you want to execute all the test suites in the project you go to the project level rest countries info here and double click on this and come here in 
test suites here and there's a green button here which will execute both the test suites in in this project so if i click screen one test case one failed and test, test suite one failed and test suite two is a pass which is green in here so let's go ahead and see why this one failed and uh, i'll close this test case one is pass test case two okay this is red in here this is how you can identify which test it failed so you can come here and see that why it failed the st status code is 455 but response status code 200 is not acceptable in the list of status code so if you come to the api and see the header here you should see the status code here which is 200 http status which is 200 but we have provided 455 in here you can just go ahead and make it 200 and save it and come back to our project test suite and run it pass pass test suite one pass test suite two pass okay that's how you can run test case test suite and the whole project from soapy thank you